In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 16, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Cincinnati Reds vs. Seattle Mariners The Cincinnati Reds are heading back to T-Mobile Arena in Seattle, Washington, to take on the Seattle Mariners. Cincinnati currently holds a 9-6 record this season and ranks 6th in the National League standings. On the other hand, Seattle finds itself in 13th place in the American League with a record of 6-10. Last season, the Reds emerged victorious in two out of the three games they played against the Mariners. When we look at historical matchups, the Seattle Mariners boast an impressive 8-2 record in their last Last 10 games against the Reds at home dating back to 2007. Notably, both teams have similar bullpen earned run averages, with Cincinnati at 4.22 and Seattle at 4.28. Given this close comparison, the starting pitchers will likely be the key determining factor in this matchup. Hunter Green, who struggled with a 4.82 earned run average last season, is expected to face the Mariners. His inconsistent performance might be exploited by Seattle's offense, as evidenced by recent encounters. The Mariners are striving to demonstrate their ability to string together consecutive wins after a shaky start to the season. Hunter Green, known for his occasional control issues, is coming off a challenging performance against the Brewers. Despite his talent and potential, Green's inconsistency remains a concern. On the other hand, Logan Gilbert has been fairly solid, conceding only six runs across 20.1 innings while striking out 23 batters. Considering these factors, the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full game side pick. Looking at recent trends, the total score has ended under in five of Seattle's last six games, in four of their last five matchups against National League teams, and in four of their last five contests against National League Central opponents. Furthermore, Seattle starting pitcher Logan Gilbert boasts an impressive 2.66 earned run average. Based on this analysis, under the projected total score is our full game total pick. St. Louis Cardinals vs. Oakland Athletics The Major League Baseball action for Tuesday, April 16, 2024, features the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Oakland Athletics at Oakland Coliseum in an interleague matchup. Oakland's batting lineup currently ranks among the weakest in baseball. The Athletics have struggled against Lance Lynn, with only 10 hits and 43 at-bats, along with three home runs and four RBIs. In April, Oakland has managed just an 85 WRC plus against right-handed pitchers, making it difficult to have confidence in their performance for this game. Despite Oakland's strong bullpen showing this month, I'm hesitant to support them in this matchup. The Cardinals have performed well against left-handed pitchers this April, boasting a 98 WRC plus and having a history of success against J.P. Sears, with four hits and 11 at-bats including a home run and two RBIs. St. Louis bullpen has also been impressive, hosting a solid 2.23 earned run average and 2.63 Fahrenheit IP in over 40 innings pitched this month. St. Louis has faced challenges early in the season, but this game presents a favorable opportunity to back the Cardinals at a reasonable price. The Cardinals are likely to capitalize on facing J.P. Sears, who has struggled at times this season. Lance Lynn has been reliable and should perform well against the athletic struggling offense. My reservations primarily center around J.P. Sears. While Sears typically represents Oakland's best chance to win when he starts, the team has consistently struggled to close out games. Although I've had success betting for and against Lance Lynn throughout his career. I don't believe Oakland's offense is strong enough to challenge the Cardinals in this game. The St. Louis Cardinals' money line is our full game side pick. Both bullpens have excelled this season, and neither lineup has been particularly potent, setting the stage for a probable low-scoring game. Additionally, J.P. Sears is coming off an impressive outing against the Rangers, while Lance Lynn should have the upper hand against the struggling Athletics lineup. Recent trends further support the expectation of a low-scoring affair. The Cardinals have seen the total go under in five of their last six games and in four of their last five road games. Similarly, the under has prevailed in five of the Athletics' last six games overall and in four of their last six meetings with the Cardinals. Given the offensive struggles of both teams, particularly against solid pitching, 
Betting on the under makes sense for this game. Lance Lynn's strong form this season should stifle the Athletics lineup, likely leading to a lower scoring game before handing it over to the reliable bullpens. With St. Louis hitting the under in 9 out of 16 games and Oakland in 8 out of 16, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington Nationals vs. Los Angeles Dodgers In the midst of a three-game series in the National League, the Washington Nationals are squaring off against the Los Angeles Dodgers at Dodger Stadium on Tuesday night. The Nationals are coming off a narrow 7-6 loss on the road against the Oakland Athletics, while the Dodgers fell to the San Diego Padres on Sunday night baseball with a score of 6-3. The Dodgers have been in good form at home, winning five out of their last seven games played at Dodger Stadium. Their offense has been particularly strong, racking up a total of 15 runs across their recent three home games. They are expected to continue their offensive prowess in this matchup, especially against left-handed pitchers like the Nationals' struggling Corbin, who has conceded a hefty 15 runs across three starts this season. Notably, Corbin has struggled against the Dodgers in recent outings, allowing 16 runs in his last three starts against them. On the other hand, the Nationals have had a tough time on the road, losing three of their last four away games. Their offensive production has been lacking, scoring just 11 runs in their last four outings. Their struggle is compounded by their overall offensive ranking in the league, which is among the lowest. Additionally, the Dodgers pitchers have been effective at home, allowing fewer than four runs per game. Against the Nationals, they have given up only five runs in their last three home encounters, suggesting that the Dodgers pitching staff will likely stifle the Nationals' offense once again. The Los Angeles Dodgers are undoubtedly the superior team heading into this game and are poised for dominance. Patrick Corbin's record against the Dodgers since joining the Nationals reflects this, as he holds a 1-3 record over 21.2 innings, conceding 22 runs. The Dodgers excel in hitting home runs, leading Major League Baseball with 25 homers as a team, whereas the Nationals are tied for 27th with just 13 home runs this season. The Nationals are below average as a team, and their starting pitcher Patrick Corbin has struggled significantly in recent years. Corbin's 2022 performance includes allowing 27 hits and 15 runs over 16 innings, with an earned run average of 5.83 and a WHIP of 1.55 since 2021. Facing a potent Dodgers lineup only exacerbates the challenge. Consequently, the Los Angeles Dodgers money line is our full game side pick. Both the Washington Nationals and the Los Angeles Dodgers have encountered pitching difficulties lately. The Nationals rank 17th in the majors with a 3.97 team earned run average over their last six games, while the Dodgers rank 21st with a 4.31 team earned run average in their previous six games. Patrick Corbin's struggles continue to be a concern, and Landon Knack is set to make his MLB debut. Both teams have been putting pressure on opposing pitchers, with the Nationals batting point 242 as a team and the Dodgers batting point 266. The bullpens have also been vulnerable, with the Nationals bullpen earned run average standing at 3.27 and the Dodgers at 4.69. The Nationals average 3.73 runs per game overall and 4.22 runs per game on the road. Despite scoring five runs per game in their recent encounters with the Dodgers, they are likely to be held below their average against a strong Dodgers pitching lineup. Meanwhile, the Dodgers average 5.33 runs per game and 5.60 runs per game at home, having scored seven runs per game in their last three games against the Nationals. Given that the Nationals concede an average of 5.66 runs per game in games started by Corbin, the Dodgers are expected to score enough to push the total runs over the projected threshold. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.